Hello friends, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam Tech Tricks. So today I will be showing you how to change the default flyout pop-up like we increase the volume or brightness and if we turn on the airplane mode we see a pop-up like this here or like this in the brightness mode. So I will be telling you how to change this pop-up to a stylish one which is this. It will be like this. Uh, it is our option to hide the top bar or not. There will be a top bar which I will show you. So currently the mode of pop-up supported are this audio flyout here like from where we change the uh, volume and then the media session like if any song is playing there is a media control button in our laptop and if also we press the volume up or down button we here see a preview whichever song is playing. So that also is supported and then airplane mode which will like show you if the airplane mode is on or off if we press the key and then this brightness one and then a scroll lock one like if we press scroll lock on our keyboard so it will show a pop up if it is on or off and then the number lock same goes and then a caps lock one. I have already made a video on the caps lock. Like you can add the caps lock indicator which is not currently there in Windows 10. So like if you turn on the caps lock you will get a screen pop up if cap lock is on and when off it is off. And if there like there is an insert or overtype mode also like there are two modes like if we are typing if we turn on overtype mode it will type on the already typed text it will overtype overwrite it and insert mode it will normally type it. So it, we, if we can enable or disable it by pressing the insert key. It will also show if it is insert mode currently or overtype mode. So this is their website. Let it load. So they have given a little bit preview like how the brightness increases and if we mute it how does it look. And then uh, like I told you about the media session here they have given it preview. We will get a photo and if we want a dark mode. This is the dark mode if you prefer dark mode. And they also as it is open source and free of course like no money. So they have also made it a repository on GitHub. This is their repository. Like they have all their code here they have uploaded so we like it is only available on microsoft store and we cannot find it directly because currently it's in preview and preview applications have can only be opened with a link so like i have created a short link that will open it in microsoft store i will give you all these links in the description so just open this microsoft store link So here it is trying to open Microsoft Store and when we open Microsoft Store we can install the app. It will take some time to load because we have opened it with a link. So like I have already downloaded this app earlier so I am getting you own this app. Otherwise you will get a get button here. You will see a get button here and then click get. So I am clicking install. After installing it is very simple and like we can just we have to just set up a little bit about position and all otherwise everything is out of the box. So it is downloading. So now it is downloaded and we will press launch here to launch the app. It will just launch in the background not as an app like it starts in the system tray here we can see it is their modern flyouts and if we want it out of the box then like if I press the volume up button here you can see this is the stylized one which it is replaced. It does not turn off the windows but it hide the windows default flat so we can reposition it by just pressing the top bar. And then move it anywhere. 
like now I will open the settings for all the setup. Firstly, uh, you have to turn on run at startup. So if you turn on your laptop, it will automatically start up. It is already on. Like if you want to sometimes temporarily disable this flyout. So select Windows default. And it has become the default and modern flyouts. It will change to the modern one. And in the personalization tab, we can see like if you want the dark theme or light theme. This is the light theme and the dark theme. So we can change the themes accordingly. And this app theme, the setting app theme, we can choose it light or dark. Or it is better to keep system default, the flyout also. And the top bar visibility. Like if I drew this, so we, we are able to see a pop-up here in the top bar. That there is a top bar in the pop-up. So I can make it auto hide. So if I do it, it will just like become a bar and if we hover on it, it will show the pop-up. And then we can make it collapse. So it will never show the, we cannot hover it also and it will not show the pop-up then. So like I will make it currently auto hide. And then we can also make it like little transparent type. Suppose I make it 80%. And if I go here, you can see transparency. There is some transparency behind it. And I can change it to like, if I make it fully transparent. And it is now just fully transparent with a little shadow only. You can like adjust it according to you. Like I am making it. 80% OB. Now I'm making it 80%. Now, like show icon on system tray area here. If you want it, like if we right click it, we can access the settings and exit the app. And if we want, like it automatically enables a colored tray, we can turn it off and it will show a black tray. And then we can set the behavior. How much time the flyout will be there? Like if it is this, it will automatically hide. If to some time we can set the time in milliseconds, like we I can set it hundred and press enter key. So if I press the volume above, it will automatically hide after hundred million seconds. Like two thousand will be two seconds, one, two, and it will hide automatically. So according to it, you can make it. The default one, 2750 is the default and you can set it yourselves. Now comes the layout and the positioning. First, this will show you the display, like in which monitors, like if you have a double monitor and you can select which monitor to show or show on all the monitors. So there is now a placement mode, auto. Here we can select it. What is the placement? Like if I do it here. This is the automatic uh, placement of the app and like you can see horizontal alignment. I can change it to center. And then I can change it to bottom. So like center bottom it will show and first I have to exit the app to apply these settings. It will take some time and then just open this app again. And you can see it is now center bottom here. And like in the layout, I can also set it to like the bottom right and then it will show it there. And then the top right or the top left as it was automatically there. Like and you can also choose it the center. So it will always come in the center of the screen. So like I will now choose bottom. This is the center bottom. And like I can also set it the manually with the X and Y position. You have to 
measured like 100 and 70. So if I align it, here it is, then I can set it 200 and then 100 here. So it has changed it there and I can make increase it also anytime. Like it will increase the Y position will make it up. Like I can set it like 400. It will Y position will make it down and X position will take it right. You can set like with minus 200. So it will take it that side. But I like the auto one, so I have done it the auto mode. You can set it manually, but it requires some practice like the screen placement. And then the expand direction. We make it auto up down. Like uh, we get the media session and all, we can see it where to do it. Like if I select the down, it will expand like down. And then the content stacking, all those media and all, I can make it ascending or descending and this about the audio module if you do not want to show that media that if a song is playing you can always turn it off from here aka media controls uh, i can turn it off and volume control also i can turn it off in the media one currently i'm turning it on and the thumbnail alignment you can keep it like right or left and uh, use media's thumbnail as media's control background and then the brightness flyout we can enable or disable any flyout like if i don't want this brightness one so i can disable it and it will make the default windows 10 and if i enable it it will show me this one and currently airplane mode like if i turn on the airplane mode it will show airplane mode on and if i tap it airplane mode off and same goes with the lock keys like lock keys are what which i one is the caps lock which i showed in my last video if i turn caps lock on caps lock is on caps lock is off and uh, that insert and override mode which i showed told you here it is like if i press insert this is overtype mode and this is insert mode i will make another video of what is insert mode and overtype mode Currently it is over type and currently it's insert. It will show the status of the modes. So these are the, all the general settings and this is uh, the theme will be automatic. You can set it here. So this was all about this app and uh, if you want it, you can also turn it off like with the windows default. It will become the default one and then modern flyouts and if you want to totally disable these flyouts then you can press none it will just hide all the windows one also and modern one also now like if you want to reset all the custom settings you have made click the reset all settings and then close the app and right click go to the system tray right click the app and click exit will take some time and then launch modern flyouts from here again it will start in the background go to the settings to adjust the settings again and it is like the default one and this is the about like this is made uh, the github repository and open a new issue it also works on from windows 8 and above it works like currently i'm on windows 10 This is all. So, thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.